Hey everyone. Um, I just got this uh, Nature's Generator in. Um, this is called the Nature's Generator Pro. It's the 1.8 kilowatts or 1,800 watts. I got it from, uh, you know, Amazon as a bundle. It comes with the wind turbine and a solar panel, which I have over there. And the wind turbine I'm currently putting together. Hot mess right now. It's pretty, pretty large, as you can see. My finger is nine inches on the dot, so yeah, it's quite, quite, quite long, quite big. Got some plans for this. It's pretty cool. Um, the whole point of this is um, I was trying to find a solution for the EcoFlow. I I couldn't wait any longer. They I called them. They don't know when they're they're still in production. Trying to figure out or not production. They're still in process of figuring out on a wind turbine solution so i just have solar going into the um from ecoflow but now i have the nature's generator which i want to get this off the grid because i want my hun to operate off of uh you know her um space heater over there that runs about um you know 800 watts and uh i I want her to run it purely off grid. She's the one always cold, not me, but um, we live in the Bay Area on the coast side and it's always foggy here. So I was trying to originally do the solution where probably a lot of you have looked into getting the the wind turbine, a rectifier, then to an MPPT unit, you know, a breaker in between and uh, um you know a, a battery storage you know a separate like car battery or some kind of battery solution to store that then you need some sort of dump load or some sort of something that if the wind turbine burns too much and then it has that or it has a reverse brake instead all those components and stuff i was thinking of building like a board in the back there and all that components but you have to buy those individual components and tying them together and everything and you hope one doesn't break from the other and uh, um you know then on top of that you have to get a very nice a, a pure sine wave inverter too and that's what i was planning on doing i was planning on doing it until i saw this nature generator i'm like i looked at it and for the price for if I com um, um, tried to build out the price of all the little components, decent components, you know, I know there's some like off brand and some brands from over foreign countries that make them very cheap. Um, but, you know, you have one weak component, the, you know, your, your, what do you call it? Your system is only as good as the weakest link, you know, something like that. So I, nature's generator has this compiled into one unit. You know, it has the MPPT controller, all that stuff. You know, it has the, what is that called? The Anderson connector. You know, and you have these connectors right here um, on their, this is their box right here for the um, wind turbine. So you can take a look at it. I don't know if anyone shared that online before. You can pause that and take a look. This thing just plugs into here. That's it. <laughs> then this, of course, I would turn this on. And plug this in the back of the EcoFlow. Like literally it's, you know, outlet that normally goes into a wall. This will then have the solar panel over there up on the roof. And I'll put a post on the wind turbine outside as well. Um, I also want to point out the construction of this wind turbine. Boy, this thing is really nice. All of it over here. Uh, these, these fans are some sort of fiber material. Very sturdy and strong. I mean, you can see how strong it is. It will stand on its own. Whoop. That's pretty, pretty wide. This uh, massage chair right here, this OSIM I had for a long time, this will just fit between a standard door. You, It's on wheels, and you can zzz right through there, so I'll give you a perspective of how big that thing is. But wind turbine itself right here this thing this is all metal there's no plastic on this thing the wing is metal this is this is all metal this this thing weighs probably about like 30 pounds but it's it's sturdy and strong oh and this thing right here i measured it out i moved it around i have calipers 
and I measured inside this hole this oh yeah there's the connector right here so you have to put it through the pipe so you know this connector right here is about 1.9 it's 1.8 well I moved it around the caliper it's like 1.9 to 1.898 1.88 of an inch And, I, you know, in the instructions, it said you need to get a, you know, a two inch and then 40 standard and then 1.5 inch uh, inner diameter to stick this on here. And this will just squeeze onto here. This thing just rotates. It's got two pins on this side. So this is pretty, pretty slick. I was planning on getting, um, you know, one of those, you know, pipes over here and then a a what they call a t-pipe fitting that can um then that can hook on to the pipe itself and then there will be an opening on the side where i can just run the wire that long wire right through the pipe to route it over here and then the other pipe would then finish off to the end of like a fence flange or something what do you call those like post fence post um flanges at the bottom and that's what i was gonna uh, stick it on I know a lot of people, are, are, that's a daunting thing, but, um, you know, to do, but you just take your time, figure it out. If you're somewhat handy, you just, everything can be bolt on if you got the right parts. But, um, yeah, that's very interesting. So that's the whole idea right there. For the price of this whole package, you get a wind turbine and a solar to fill this up. And the idea is to fill this up and then run this into the EcoFlow to give it supplemental power by wind and solar as well. So the EcoFlow doesn't come with a, 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 um, a wind turbine option yet. Um, and I've talked to their support many times. I've asked them so many variations. I said, could you put an XT60 connector onto a wind turbine from a rectifier into the back? Would it technically read it? They would not admit to me that it would work or not. They, they just said, well, if you're using some aftermarket thing, that could void your warranty. And then I explained to them, what about if I build a wind turbine, da, 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 and then all those little components and everything like that to an inverter, where then the inverter would plug into that. They, they made it clear. They said, so that's an AC outlet, one of these. They're like AC outlet that goes in the back of the EcoFlow, you know, that plugs into the standard EcoFlows. What is that? C14 or C13 plug in the back? And then they said that that would be fine. They said that would be fine as long as it's running in the back from the C14. Or is that C14 or C13? I keep mixing the two. But anyways, so instead of doing all that stuff together, I'm giving this a whirl. I priced out what I was going to do. And it was going to cost me over two grand because to get all the, the right components and everything like that. And um, yeah, that included the wind turbine, like a decent one. So of course you price out to a cheap one, but like, you know, I, I just didn't want to take a chance and on this EcoFlow, I already invested into this beautiful thing. Um, so I, I wanted to be able to also take it and take it somewhere. You know, I plan to like, if you if you wanted to go camping, you know, you can make wind and solar, you know, and you can just combine the two and it'd be wonder twin power. But this is basically your all in one. So that's why I wanted to share that with everyone. Just the idea of that. If you like your EcoFlow so much, because to be fair, the EcoFlow is of better quality than this. I, I'm sure nature, you know, nature's uh, uh, generators are good. You know, hopefully they'll last a while, but the EcoFlow is like the iron phosphate lithium ion. It also charges at variable rates. This, I already charged this from the EcoFlow test so I can get a reading from the, um, the output right there. It spikes all the way to 90 watts to charge at first, and then it lowers down to about 67 watts, and it just slowly fills up to 67. This, from my understanding, you cannot vary how fast it charges into it by the wall outlet so that means there's a set speed and it takes time to fill this thing up well the EcoFlow, i've adjusted you can adjust it from 200 watts to 1600 watts or 1 1.6 kilowatts so that's why this thing can charge within an hour 3.6 kilowatts while this would take you know dozens of hours to fill it from near 
or its empty state to to full you know at 60 something watts and and i also tested it when it did get full just to let you know it was still pulling like 14 or 16 watts of power from the led light and maybe some other components that's going so it said it was full on the screen but it still draws energy so that's why that's why for this you know reading the eco or reading the nature's uh generator it's a good idea to like always keep your solars and winds outside there and just kind of topping it off. But what's cool about it is this thing has a controller, so it does its thing, right? It doesn't burn out. It, it can break, break the wind turbine when it needs to. And, uh, you know, so it, it does all the thinking for you. That's what I like about it. And, you know, you're a reputable company. You know, you need any issues, your warranty issues. You just reach out to them and say, hey, this part's not working. This thing's not working. I thought it was a great idea, all contained into one unit. So they really thought about this really well. I'm sure over time, maybe they'll improve on various things. I know the price will probably go up if they add more features and whatnot. But me, I plan to also add like a little smart plug in the front here in the plug and plug it so I can turn it on and off. If this is full, you know, yada, yada, I don't need to, I mean, I can just combine them and turn them on and off, you know, by via Wi-Fi Bluetooth. And this also comes with a monitoring to, tool too. So I can see the, the condition of this as well. I, I see the eco flows um, already. So this, this is, this is the solar cable. They give you like 50 foot of that. They give you like 100 feet of the wind turbine cable. So yeah, there's plenty of stuff. I probably only got like 25 feet, maybe 30 at most, where I'm going to route it and through the, the house over there and just through the side and then route it into here, then plug this into here. And then uh, that's that. There's no thinking. <laughs> if anyone wanted to think, this is honestly a... All right, I just got the uh, nature's generator alongside with the EcoFlow. I already see right off the bat uh, the difference with this one. This one you cannot uh, change the rate of where it charges. It charges as fast as it's uh, preset to charge. There's a difference. So I checked the EcoFlow. It's pulling, looks like... When I first plugged it in, it looked like it pulled almost 90, 89 watts, and then it lowered down to like 66. So I can see why this would take um, a, a little bit of time to charge. Um, this is 1.8 kilowatts of storage. So um, yeah, at that rate, it's you know it's going to take a f several hours if it was uh, dead. The EcoFlow can adjust the rate. I set it to like 200 watts. We can set it up to like 15, 1600 watts. Charge us within an hour or so with 3.6 kilowatts of power. That's very interesting. But I got this for wind turbine. Anyways, more to come.